Hello everybody. Today we're going to be learning how to design 3D models today using Tinkercad. Uh, we're going to be creating a die, six-sided die, and it's going to be uh, nice and simple. The reason I chose Tinkercad is because it's an online software that is free to use. Uh, so let's get into it. First, you have to sign up at Tinkercad. Uh, real easy setup. Uh, you just need an email, set it up with your password, and you can link it to your phone. So it's a second form of uh, login identification that you need. Makes it nice and secure. Um, once you did that, uh, it'll once you log in, it'll bring you to the dashboard, which you see right here. I have a bunch of my old designs uh, right here uh, on screen. So what we want to do is create a new design for this uh, for this die. So we're going to click on the create new design. This will bring us to the the workspace. Now, as uh, you can see to the right, you get a bunch of these uh, different shapes. Uh, and these are the things that you use to create your object with. Uh, there's a whole list of them right here. But for right now, we're just going to be dealing with basic shapes. So, uh, you want to click on the box. And then click on a spot on your workspace. Okay, so now let's see how to uh, move around the workspace. Uh, zooming in and out is done by the scroll wheel of the mouse. So you can see it go in and out. Uh, the next is the right click so you press and hold the right button of your mouse and you can move the mouse around and it'll rotate the workspace it goes up down left right and it'll circle around the object that you have selected now let's say that you're you're at a weird angle and you zoomed all the way out and you don't know how to get back to it and you're starting to panic, don't worry. This is very easy to do to get back to where we were in the beginning. On the top left you'll see this uh, home view button. All you need to do is click on that and it'll bring you right to the front, right back to where we were and you don't need to worry about anything. So, uh, I taught you the basics, how to bring an item out, uh, how to view around it, and now let's go on to uh, making, putting another object out there. Oh, actually, before we do that, let's change the, the size. So, Tinkercad is by default... Uh, metric. Uh, so this 20 right here is 20 millimeters. So I can change it to 30. Uh, you can input the number or you can just uh, stretch it, click and drag the left mouse button when you click on the, uh, the boxes around here. And it'll tell you the scale or it'll show you the, uh, the measurements. Uh, same thing goes with the height. So I want to make this cube. Uh, let's do it 30 by, oh, by, uh, 30 by 30. All right. So that's nice and easy. Hey, all right, so you guys know how to resize things now. 
Now next is we're going to put numbers on each one of these sides uh, to make it an actual dice uh, die. So we're going to go up to basic shapes and we're going to choose text and numbers. So we're going to scroll all the way down, go to the next set of things, and there we go. We got a number one. Click on that and then click on the ground. All right. Next, I'm going to show you how to ro Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that? I don't like my mouse when it does things like that. That was my fault. Uh, I accidentally clicked back with my mouse. I hate that function. All right, so we're going to rotate this. So if you click on the, click on the number one, uh, you'll see these. If you click on anything, you'll see the the arch with uh, the art, yeah, with uh, two arrow heads on it. That's the symbol for rotate. So you got to find the right one to rotate. If you uh, mouse over it, don't click. It'll show you the circle where you can actually rotate your your. Uh, your your object. I want to rotate that way. I want to rotate this way. And so if you go here, I want to rotate there on that and that. On that, uh, on that plane, you want to rotate on that plane. Again, ooh, there we go. You want to make it so it's ninety degrees when you, uh, ooh, and yep. You want to rotate it ninety degrees so it's standing straight up. Next, you want to make it a hole. So you have the object selected, and you press it. You press the hole on the top right. When this happens, when you make it a hole, whenever it's combined with another object, it'll make a hole in the object based on what this object is. Next, you want to select both objects and you want to press the align button on the top right this will show a bunch of different uh, markers and alignments um, if you hover over each one of these circles it'll show you the different alignments there um, so if I do this you can see that the one is going to move but the box is going to stay the the same. The orange outline is where the object is going to be placed. See, and it just moved over a little. Next, you wanna we wanna make it centered. Uh, on the z-axis, so this one would be it. So now they're both in the center. And next. Finally, we want to bring the box and the number one uh, with the same faces, with the um, have them aligned so that the faces of each other are right against each other in the front. See, you can do it this ooh this way. I might have messed up on the number one. Yeah, pretty much did. Okay, so I don't want this number one. Let's do that again. Number one. Let's rotate it 90 degrees. Let's make it a hole. Let's do the alignment again. Center it there and then center it there. And then 
bring them together. And so this is what you should see if it's working. It's kind of, you see the ones kind of fading in and out, and that's fine. Now that that's dead center on the one side, um, so this is the front side. If I were to want it on the back side, I could do it the same, but it'd be, and it's over here now. But the problem with that is, is that it's backwards. I don't want that. So we're gonna, we're gonna put it back to where it was right there. All right, now that we got the number where we want it, we want to use the uh, group button. And this will combine the two objects, or however many objects you have, together. And now you can see that that's one object. If I click and drag this thing and move it wherever, you don't see the one coming off of it. Now, let's do that the same way with number two. Let's uh, rotate this 90 degrees. Let's rotate this. Ooh, 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 ooh. And if I just pan, there we go, 90 degrees. Now, okay. Oh, nope, nope. Oh, man. The only thing about this is that sometimes it'll it'll mess up and you don't uh, nope we're tinkering this still all right so I'm used to other software so we got the two um, let's see if I can show you what I wanted to do before so nope I can't this is too much so we're just gonna combine these two we're gonna align them in the proper spot two is dead center even though you can't see it we're gonna make it uh, same way there and we're gonna bring it out to the surface oh I forgot I need to make the two a hole Okay, now I'm going to click and drag, select both of them, and we're going to group them together. And see, two is done. Alright, now we're going to do three. We're going to do three. Alright, so let's see if we can... We're going to do three. Alright. Let's move that over there. It's three over here. All right, so let's see. Okay, so you see these small tabs? You can do it in 40, uh, 22.5 degree measurements, and then it'll snap there instead of the outside, which will go at whatever, whatever random angle it decides to go to, um, at whatever angle you want but if you want to just snap it because most people just want 90 degrees or 45 something they made it so that way you can actually do that but uh, right now alright we're gonna do that 90 degrees that way and this one's going on the back side so we're gonna rotate it a full 180 degrees that way uh, we're going to make it a hole again. Then that's it for that. Now we're going to align it. We're going to bring it all the way back. We're going to bring it all the way in the center of that. And then height, center the height. And there we go. And we're grouping together. And that's three. Next, we have four. Same thing, 90 degrees. This one we're rotating 90 degrees that way. We're making it a hole. We're gonna line it up. There. Uh, with, the, with the face of it. Then we center it. 
and then we center the height and then we group it together and that's four all right so next is going to be five uh... we're just going to hold that one make that a hole select the two now for the face plate on the top it's going to be this this circle right here and then we oop. Remember, if you click off, just, oop, nope, 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 nope. Okay. So this leads us to, I accidentally made a mistake. All you need to do is hit the undo button at the top left-hand side of the, of the page. That'll undo the last mistake you do. And then you can do it again and again and again. Um, and if you went back too many times on the undo, there's the forward button. So let's just bring these, align these properly. Uh, there. And it looks like this one's already centered that way. And so we'll group these together. We're almost done. Now I just need the six. All right, the six is out. We're going to rotate it 180 degrees. Ooh. All right, there we go. That way, we're going to make it a hole. Then we're going to select the two items again, and we're going to align it. First, th uh, this way, then dead center, and then this button will bring it all the way to the bottom. And there we go. Now we group it together. All right, this this pointy circle or this pointy arrow right here allows you to move it up. You kind of want to have it. So this this number right here is how many millimeters it's moved up, and then this one off to the side is how many millimeters it's off the base plate or your workstation. And right now it's zero, so that's good. So this is our final product, a die with six sides. So uh, now that we've got this object, uh, let's rename the title. Let's change the name. And we're going to make it uh, six-sided die. That's great. All right. Now, um, now that we have it, it's it's a three-dimensional object. Let's export it so we can print it on a 3D printer. So you go to the top right. There's a button that says Export. Click on that. And for most objects, uh, for most printers, .stl files are the things that you need. So we're going to click on that. And then it downloads. Oh. My head's in the way for some reason. There we go. It downloads right here. So we're going to click on that. My default thing is uh, Microsoft's 3D viewer. And so hey look at that it's our die and that's all, all the STL file is downloaded straight to my computer so I don't need to s save it on here um, but what happens if uh, you're working on a project and you want to save it well that's easy it's auto saved every single every single movement is saved and uh, on the web uh, on the website uh, on their servers that they use and so uh, when you go back to uh, your dashboard you'll find it there so let's do that right now uh, on the top left uh, there's a Tinkercad symbol you click on that 
And there's our die in a preview right there. Now, normally all these are set to private, but you can uh, publicize them, make them public, and have other people look at your work and see what you've done. Um, that's a... Okay, so let's do that now. Uh, click on your... Or have hover over the gear icon on your uh, preview. Hit Options. Then we're going to go to Properties. And then you can set it to Public. So that way other people can see it and download your item. And you can also uh, tag it, give it a description, and a bunch of other things. And then when you're done, hit Save Changes. So, in conclusion, um, this is one of the simpler, more basic uh, ways to 3D create and design your own uh, products and, uh, I don't know, just use it for fun. Um, but the problem becomes when you want to do more intricate work. These are just basic shapes and stuff, but for beginners, this is really, really nice piece of software that they don't need to buy. And we're, uh, and that uh, I actually used for several years before diving into uh, Fusion 360 because I didn't need much when I was starting out. Uh, I used basically a bunch of free already designed products and those were doing great for me but then I started wanting to make more and so I went to Tinkercad first and this is this is a great program uh, for beginners uh, because it there's not a lot of work as you saw we made an object within less than a half hour and um, based on just using simple shapes, you can get a lot done with it. So, this is my little uh, how-to tutorial on how to use Tinkercad and how to make a, a die on it. Uh, I might come back and might do a little bit something more intricate on it, or I might go to Fusion 360 and uh, show you guys something on there. Actually, I might do a, a separate die video on uh, Fusion 360 just so you can uh, see the difference between the two. And I think that's going to be a good thing. Uh, so, for right now, I'll see you all in another episode. And uh, have a wonderful evening.